Hi, I'm Brian Dickinson, and this training bite is on local constraint modifiers and system Verilog and UVM. Local fixes potential issues with the resolution of identifiers used within inline constraint blocks for class randomization. This applies to both explicit randomization with an inline constraint, but also randomization performed using, for example, the tick UVM do with macro. I will stick with the do with macro as an example. And System Verilog says that the identifier is first resolved by looking in the object which is being randomized. Here we're randomizing PKT, that's a handle on YAP packet, so we'll look at the YAP packet declaration first to resolve the identifiers, and the identifier length here maps down to a property of YAP packet which is used to determine the number of bytes in the payload. If we don't find the identifier in the object being randomized, then we look in the scope of the randomization call itself, called the local scope. So here, PKT length is not a property of YAP packet, so we then look in the uh, sequence that contains the randomization call, and here we find the local sequence property PKT length, which is set to a value of 10. So now when we execute this simulation, we should see that the length of the payload is equal to 10. So let's try that and make sure it works. So here we can see that the constraint has worked and the payload has a length of uh, 10 bytes. However, the problem comes if we accidentally use a local property inside the sequence which has the same name as a property in the object we're randomizing. As an example of this, let's perhaps change this local property to be uh, address ADDR, that's a property inside of YAP packet itself. If we update all these references here inside of the sequence, now when we make a randomization call, both of those identifiers will map down to properties inside the local YAP packet. So the sequence property ADDR cannot be seen because it has the same name as a YAP packet property ADDR and we look in the scope of the object first. So when I randomize this, both identifiers map down to properties inside the YAP packet. ADDR is 2 bits, so I'm expecting the length of the payload now to be 2 bits, and an example here, yeah, it's got a payload length of 1. I can't even use the prefix this, for example, if I try to put the keyword this to try and force the resolution to pick up the local ADDR property of the sequence itself, that won't work either, because again, we look in the YAP packet first. So the this just refers to the YAP packet. If we show you a simulation, we can see we have a packet length of 2 bits. So to fix this, System Verilog provides a resolution operator which we can use inside of constraint blocks and it uses the identifier local. So if I change this to local, now because it's a resolution operator, we use the double colon in order to prefix the name of identifier. And what this does is it skips looking inside of the object which is being randomized and jumps immediately to the local scope of the randomization call. So now local colon colon ADDR refers to the local property of the sequence ADDR with a constraint that it has to be equal to 10. And now when I randomize this, I should be back with my original example of a payload equal to 10 bytes. Hey, and you can see it's working. So the obvious thing to do is to not use a local property with the same name as a property of the object you're randomizing, but that's not always possible. So perhaps as a precautionary move, you can always use local as a prefix to the, the local properties of the sequence. Note that uh, you can also use local in front of something like uh, this or super, for example. These also work, so let me show you an example of that. So again, this should simulate us with a, uh, a packet of uh, 10 bytes inside the payload, so we know the constraint is working. So to resolve any resolution problems you have, or just as a precaution, in case you don't know what the property names being used in the object are, local can help you inside of constraint blocks.